everyone, it's Miss Hannah from Stardust Dance Academy and I am super excited that you've come to dance with me today because we are going to be doing our ballet class to some of the new music from the Disney film Raya and the Last Dragon. So make sure you've got lots of space and I hope you enjoy today's class. So we're going to start with our feet in parallel position today and the dragons in this movie can fly. So we're going to stretch our arms out. Good job. We're going to do two little bounces to the side and stretch your wings and then the other way and then four quick. One, two, three, four. Good. Then we're going to repeat with a rock. Rock and point. Rock and point and then four quick flying side to side. Good job. Then I want you to go up on your toes and run, fly round in a circle and switch and fly round on your toes the other way. Good job. So feet in parallel and let's go with music. Stretch those wings out and switch. Good. Four quick. Four, three, Two, one, and go. Good, stretch those wings. Four. Good, in a circle, ready, run. Bound on your toes. Other way. We're going to go up and down, up, down. Well done everybody. Now the first dragon that Rhea meets is called Sisu and she is a water dragon who loves swimming. So we're going to warm up our feet and our toes doing some lovely plies and some beautiful stretched feet. And we are also going to pretend we are swimming in the ocean. So pop your feet in first position. You can start by holding your skirt or place your hands on your waist and follow along with me. Head up nice and tall. We're going to do our plies to start. Now swim, swim. Good. Plie again. Bend and stretch. Heads up tall. Good. Now we're going to swim on our toes. Bounce it up on your tiptoes. Lovely. First position. Head up tall. Good job. And back to our plies. Point to the side and swim. Good. Point those toes as you rock. Well done, everybody. Now, Sisu and her dragon friends each have a special power, and one of them has the power to make magic fog. So, can you circle your hands like this? Very good. And the fog's going to go all the way up and open. Beautiful. Do that one once more. All the way up and open. Lovely. Another one of the magic dragon powers is to be a shape shifter. So we're going to see if we can make a beautiful circle above our heads and then up on our toes. Turn your circle round. Beautiful. Open. And then can you stretch into a big star shape, as big as you can? Good. And then can you curl into a little ball, as small as you can? Great job, everybody. Let's try those first two with some music. Feet in first position. Ready for the magic fog. It goes up and up. 
one again. Beautiful shapeshifter. Circle. Hold it up and turn. Open. Beautiful star shape. Really big and really small. Beautiful, well done ballerinas. Now Sisu's eldest brother, his magic power is to control the rain. So we're gonna take a little step and you're gonna show me sparkly rain. Beautiful, and can you look up at your hand as you look at your beautiful sparkly raindrops? Good job. And then we've already learned Sisu's magic power because she is a water dragon. So we're gonna do our lovely swimming through the ocean. Point those toes as you rock side to side. Good job. Let's see if we can put those four magic dragon powers into our dance. Feet in first, stand nice and tall ballerinas. Beautiful, here comes the magic fog. And up. And again. Shape shifting, circle. Turn. And up. Big star. And a little ball. Magic rain. Other side. Good, show me your magic rain again. And swim. Good, that's it, point those toes. Beautiful, and fog. Lovely, magic fog all the way up. And open. Good, shape shifting, show me your circle. Turn it round. Now your star shape and your little ball. Magic rain. And again. Beautiful. Look up at those hands. Make your sparkly raindrops. And swim. And Well done everybody. Let's do that one one more time. So feet in first position, standing nice and tall. Ready to use all of our magic powers. We make the fog. And up. Beautiful. And again. Up. And circle. Hold that circle up. Shape stretch really big and small and rain. Good. Wiggle those fingers to make your magic raindrops. Good. One more time. Magic fog and up. and shapes. Turn on your toes and open. Big star and a small ball. Good job. Magic rain. Beautiful. Stretch those toes. swim. 
saying, well done everybody. Next, I'm gonna teach you a dance to my favorite song from Raya and the Last Dragon, which is called Lead the Way. So we've got a special starting position for this one. You're gonna tuck one foot behind, keeping your knees together, and we're gonna place our hand on our shoulder, and we're gonna look up nice and strong, just like Raya. Wonderful. And then we're gonna float this arm down to bring us into first position. Now for this first little bit, you can hold your arms in bra bar, you can hold your dress if you've got one, or place your hands on your waist. All right, we're gonna step to the side. Step together, step and point. And you're gonna tap your opposite hand forward. And again, step together, step and point. Step together, step and point. Then we're gonna draw a big rainbow and close it in. Good, and then we repeat that going the other way. So let's start with our feet together. Good, let's go in our starting position. So one foot behind, hand on your shoulder, looking nice and strong. Here we go with music. <laughs> job everybody so for the next part she sings this energy in the water we're gonna demi palie bring our arms in and flutter them out like waves of the ocean so they come in and out beautiful then they're going up and you pull them in to your heart good job then we're gonna do a little point to the side and we're gonna rock keep your hands into your heart three and close on four. Good job. Now I want your best stretch foot to the side as you take a lovely wave up and the other way. Up and in. Good, then take your arms up. Show me that lovely circle, keeping those shoulders down and paint a rainbow. Beautiful. So let's go through that little bit again. We do our plie and stretch. Arms up. Pull into your heart and rock to the side. Beautiful. Close it in and take your foot up and in. Good, look at your hands and really stretch those toes and then hands all the way up. Paint a rainbow and finish. Good job everybody. Let's add that new section on from the beginning with the music. So ready in your pose. Well done everybody. Let's try that little bit up to there one more time because there are some fast steps in this dance. So ready in your starting pose. <laughs> Thank you. 
successful so far. Well done, everybody. Now, when we open our arms to link into the next bit, I want you to stretch your foot forwards. Lovely. And what we're going to do for the chorus, we're going to rock forwards and we're going to take our arms up. Beautiful. Rock back, bring them into your heart. Beautiful. Rock forwards and point your back foot and then point close. We're going to then repeat it with the other foot. Try with me. Rock forwards, back to your heart. Rock forwards, point and close. Good. And I want you to feel nice and strong. So head up when you're doing your lovely rocks and change feet. Beautiful. Good job, everybody. Let's see if we can add our new section on from the beginning. And then it links us into the second verse and we're going to start straight from the beginning again. Let's give it a try. Everybody, this is looking so beautiful. So we're going to dance it through one more time. And this time I would love it if you came up with your own finishing pose. So I'm going to finish in the same pose we started in, but I would love it if you wanted to come up with your own finishing pose this time. Okay, so let's go last time. Show me your best dancing this time, everyone. <laughs>
everybody that was really beautiful now if you've got any little photos or videos of you dancing along I would love for you to share them with me you can connect with me over on Instagram or Facebook it's Stardust Dance Academy I'll pop the link down below and I would love to see any little photos or videos or messages if you enjoyed that dance today right to have a little cool down we're gonna do some stretches and balancing to finish So feet in parallel position. We're gonna go up and down. Good, and again, up on your toes and down. Good, rise up and down. One more, heads up tall, up, down. Good job, now we're gonna lift up and down. Keep those heads up tall, up and down. Good job everyone. Up. And down. Just soft floaty arms. Up. And down. Beautiful. Now can you stretch out into a lovely big star shape as big as you can? Good job. And then give yourself a lovely big cuddle as you rock from side to side. Good. Let's do that again. So stretch out nice and wide. Good and give yourself a nice big cuddle as you rock side to side. Good, now I want you to stretch up as tall as you can, reach those fingers for your ceiling at home. Good, and now can you go up on your tiptoes? See if you can stretch, reach for the ceiling. Good job, and one more time, out nice and wide. Beautiful, and give your hands and your feet a little shake. Good job, everybody. Now pop your feet in first position because we always finish our ballet classes with a curtsy or a bow. So you get to choose how you'd like to finish and this is how we say thank you to each other. So standing nice and tall, step to the side, curtsy or bow. Step, curtsy or bow give yourselves a clap. Thank you so much for dancing with me today everyone. I have had so much fun dancing with you all today and I just love that new song of Mariah and the Last Dragon. If you've enjoyed today's class please drop me a comment below and like and subscribe and feel free to let me know if there are any other songs or movies or dances that you would like me to do for you. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you back here for another ballet class next week. Bye everyone!